Welcome to Political Tea. I'm Raina, your favorite e-girl with all of your internet news, and I've got an interesting and a slightly racist news story for you from our favorite app, TikTok, of course. So this TikTok went viral, exposing this California Karen who wanted her 15 minutes of fame and decided to accuse a black man of stealing her phone. He even tried to get a Spencer's employee in on it so that she could kind of have an ally to kind of back her up on this, but Thankfully, she was caught in 4K by the black man's partner and they uploaded it onto their TikTok where right now it has 2.3 million views just exposing her and it's embarrassing really. So we're gonna watch it together and you know, with some commentary on the side from your lovely host, of course. So let's see. Okay, we heard you. Yeah, no. Can you call it? Because she won't let us call it. Yeah, it's phone number. Well, he could have turned off the ring, the ringer. Oh, oh my God! Did he want to get fucking phone. naked, lady? <laughs> All right, guys. I can't unlock your phone. You don't. You don't need that. Guys, to... you really. Not only are you gonna accuse him of stealing your phone, but instead of doing the logical thing of letting the employee call it, you're gonna say, "Oh yeah, it was the ringer." You know, like he could have done that. Like he's not. Ooh. Like just, it gets worse from here. Like I. <sighs> okay. Display it again, guys. Yeah, dude. Let's try to turn the window. Let's try to just stay calm and cool. Okay. So now it's six. Stop looking okay. at him like it's hurt. Talk to him. He's trying to help you. Let me get the number. Now it's six. Is everything in my pocket? Do you want to pat him down? You pat me down. Bro. There. That's <laughs> that's what she knew that she's fucked up. She. It's well. I will save my commentary for the end. I'll try that. You pat me down, bro. Well, I got I'm, I'm still waiting for the number. Well, if it's if it's just, if it's, that's if it's in mean. his pocket, it won't ring because he turned off your ringer. Is what yeah. you're also accusing us of. Even though he just emptied out everything Empty in his, out pocket. his pocket. Here's his pocket with his vape in it, which he should. Do you want to turn around? Please, guys, can we? She can't. Well, if they have my number, then they and they have my phone. Well, let's. And then he, we you don't have see? your phone. I was. I just stuck it right here. You walk right behind right, me. How about you type it? I didn't take it. You type it in. Walk behind me and took it. <laughs> what would I even do? It's in my. Is it in your purse, ma'am? I'm so sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> really? I am sorry. All right. I am cool. Sorry. I apologize. Oh, Fuck dude. off. <laughs> no, you're not. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and then she and then she came back i didn't i didn't even see that last part where she came back around so yeah i told y'all that it was gonna be bad and now everybody knows her face as that woman that was bold enough to just oh, it was okay it was the caucasity for me to say that he came up behind her, snatched it from her phone, snatched it from her back pocket, and then made sure to turn the ringer off so that he could successfully steal whatever phone he had. I think my husband said it was like iPhone 12 or something. Like your iPhones aren't as great as we think they are. Like your phone, nobody wants your dusty ass phone. Why do you think that we would want it in the first place? But it's another thing that just blows me. I just, I'm just really glad that his partner decided to record it. And you know, especially situations like that, it could have, got him way further than it needed to over something like a phone like instead of you searching your purse to make sure you had your stuff you just want to cry to the employee and say and accuse the big scary black man of doing it there's actually a, a few comments on here that i have wanted to look at people were basically saying that she knew that she had that in her purse i personally think that she realized it whenever she was feeling around in it but she still you know there's a certain point where you're like, oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna come off as the bad guy. Like, oh, I've already taken this so far. Like I've done, I done fucked up. I gotta push through and basically, you know, got to see it through. Got to see it through my butt. I'm honestly just embarrassed for her. Well, this one called it basically. And it was like by the creator too. And it said, she didn't want to call her phone because she saw it in her bag and knew you were recording. Shake my head. And, it's, and then um, they said, I didn't want to catch a case, lol. And honestly, good for them. I'm glad that they were able to compose themselves and that they made sure to be an advocate for their partner. Kudos to them because if it was me and my husband and they tried that, like, oof, 
it would have been a case. Like, I think I remember my husband saying that he would, okay, like you were accusing me of that. I'm going to sue you for defaming me now that you just proved that you had it and your person just did not want to look for it. And honestly, they would he would have had the right to. But this comment was even funnier. It said, middle-aged housewives need to stop popping Xanax. <laughs> like, really, you were that? That's really what I was thinking. Like, you're really that bored. Oh, it just felt very self-centered. Of course, he would want to steal my phone. That's the only go only logical explanation for why I can't find my phone right now is because of him, not me not looking for my wallet. It's him. Like, that makes any sense. <sighs> that was really my two cents on it. I'd really love to hear what y'all have to think about it because I, like I said, it would have been the case. Thank y'all so much for watching until the end and going on this bumpy little ride with me as I try to figure out, you know, myself on YouTube and how I want political tea to be. So if you like any of this, don't be afraid to leave any story ideas down below or even just shoot me a message on my socials here, of course. I have one for political tea and one for just my little, my little random puppy girl thing if you want to see more of this mug. But again, thank y'all for joining me and hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Till next time.